Welcome to Words with Butch. I think the idea here is that we are going to explain for the people that don't know the hockey terminology, the people that think they know the hockey terminology, and the people that are pretending they know the hockey terminology, <laughs> what exactly that some of these things are. Exactly. I mean, and during the broadcast, you and I talk about a lot of different things that happen during the game. We talk about reverses. We talk about the toy department. We talk about closing the gap. Well, yeah, we want to try and explain it so that people can, A, understand me. And I'm not the easiest guy in the world to understand. You know me with my words. I, I struggle every once in a while but the, the idea is yeah is let's uh, let's try and enlighten them a little bit so they can they can better enjoy the game and then when I have a faux pas they can laugh with me instead of at me and I'll be here serving as the translator <laughs> all right let's talk about some of the goaltending terms what do you got for us oh I got a whole bunch for you <laughs> but let's first talk about the the trapper what's known as the trapper for the goaltender now most people might think when we talk about the trapper they're thinking about some guy that's up in the Northwest Territories and he's out there trying to catch a beaver well no that's not what we're talking about when we're saying trapper this is a big big glove bigger than back in the 1960s Brendan now, you're very familiar with that yeah I mean when they when they first came out they, they look like a first baseman's mitt for ba a baseball player and, and it's kind of evolved into this big thing <laughs> it, it, yeah just and it's like a scoop and but you, you you and I were talking like it's not very flexible because you no. see a lot of the goaltenders today they, they don't they don't catch the puck it kind of just bounces cams and off the glove am I correct yeah I mean you, you, you try and squeeze it and you'll get it if it hits in the, in the webbing of the glove but if it hits anywhere on the heel or down here obviously it's gonna bounce bounce pretty far and, and we talk about the cheater every once in a while that's the cheater right here <laughs> that 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 was should not be there has no bearing on on whether or not for safety or anything like that that just helps the goaltender block a little more and I'm just going to give you a quick shot let's see how good Brendan's <laughs> reflexes are oh right in this area here which is just a quick flip oh my goodness he still got it well there's where the trapper comes in handy all right goaltenders wear two gloves one on the left hand to catch it and one on the right hand the blocker yeah and years ago they used to call it the waffle because that that's really what it looked like it had a whole bunch of holes in it but obviously it's become sophisticated but you can see the big curvature and why do they have a curvature on it well because it's easier to direct the puck when you're when you're making a save so it's uh it's a huge important valuable tool for for all the goaltenders not only to hold the stick properly but the, the waffle yeah that rebound control right you want it to ramp right off here and a lot of times the idea is to, to put it out of play put it up over the glass and then, then you then you can have a, a face off and again you know what you know all about waffles but it's not out here <laughs> yeah, it's no. at the breakfast table not very good so there's about a thousand different ways to score on an NHL goaltender, but when you boil it down at the very basic premise of it, there's five places to put the puck. There, there really is, and, and th this is number one, it's up in this area here. This is number two up in this area here, bottom of the net, number three over here, bottom of the right hand side, that's number four, and number five, which is really important, is between the legs. That's the five hole. Goaltenders years ago stood on their feet all the time, never went down, so Brendan, the five hole wasn't really available for them, but in today's game, everybody butterflies and if they don't get down at the right time they open up their legs become spread obviously and the guys the sharpshooters if they can trick them a little bit here and there get them to open up they can score on that five hole yeah not exactly the best plan of attack to shoot it right at the goaltender but you, you get him to move a little bit and it's about the timing when he tries to score in the five hole. exactly right and, and, and particularly if you're coming on a breakaway you give him a little fake he opens those legs up and that allows you to score in the five hole so uh, all you hockey fans out there all you kids out there when we talk about the five hole and the goaltender gave up the five hole you know exactly what we're talking about it's between the legs <laughs> 